Hi, I hope you're all well. So this is another Kanekalon crochet hair tutorial, but this time I'm using a brand of hair called Noir. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. So if you'd like to see how I install this hair and the final outcome, please keep watching. For my braiding pattern, this time around I left a little bit of leave out and done a snake pattern towards the top of my head. And at the back, halfway down, there's five cane rows going back. Before you install the hair, I found it a lot easier to use your thumb and separate the strands of hair. By the way, if you're going to use this braiding pattern, please do make the braids thinner because I made mine way too thick. So as usual, you're just going to put the crochet hook underneath the cane row, hook the hair inside, pull it under and loop it a couple of times. This isn't really a proper tutorial, but if you would like to see a more detailed tutorial on how to put in crochet hair, then I will put the link in the description bar. So this time around, I decided to leave a little bit of leave out out. To be honest, I'm done with the invisible part, not the method, whatever it's called. I just can't be bothered with it. I don't think it looks too natural. I don't know, I suppose I haven't mastered it. And I've had a few of you leaving comments telling me that it didn't look like an invisible part. So I thought, you know what? <laughs> I've taken aboard what you said and I just thought I'm just going to put a little bit of leave out just so it looks more natural. So I can't bother with the big part looking thing that happens when you do not this method. So as I was doing my hair, I realised that it's a lot easier if you just hold the hair from the tip and pull it up on both sides because this hair is so coarse and after a while it can actually hurt your thumb through the friction so this way is a little bit easier so at this point I've used one pack of hair and in the end I ended up using three and a half packs I don't like to put too much hair in because I just want it to look natural and I don't want it to look oversized and too big This hair does tend to get very tangly and knotty but that will all be sorted out in the end once we blow dry it and straighten it. It only took me 90 minutes to install all of the hair and that was whilst filming so obviously if I wasn't filming I would have been able to finish it a lot quicker. So this is what it's looking like once I've installed all three and a half packs of braids into my hair and I'm just going to blow dry it straight now. If you'd like a more detailed video of how I straighten this hair, please let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and share and do subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.